Welcome to my lecture. Today we are going to discuss about partial balancing of reciprocating masses. So this is the reciprocating mechanism. Here the unbalanced reciprocating force is MR R omega square cos theta. So this is the unbalanced reciprocating force. In order to balance this unbalanced reciprocating force, we are going to add a rotating mass along the direction of the crank in the opposite direction. Okay, So here, in order to balance this force, we are going to add a balancing mass along the direction of the existing crank in the opposite direction. So this is the balancing mass. It creates a centrifugal force MR or omega square. This centrifugal force can be divided into two components. Okay, One is horizontal component it is mr r omega square cos theta because this angle is theta so these two angles are same and the vertical component is mr r omega square sin theta fine so we are going to balance the reciprocating masses by adding a rotating mass and it is added along the direction of the crank in the opposite direction so we have added a balancing mass here and the centrifugal force which is created by the balancing mass is mr r omega square if you divide that centrifugal force you can get two components one is along horizontal direction another one is along the vertical direction okay now you can see that the horizontal component can balance the unbalanced reciprocating force completely that means it can nullify the effect of this unbalanced reciprocating force because both are equal and opposite in direction so both these two forces can get cancelled along the line of stroke these both forces get neutralized okay but what happened to the this vertical force so that is what the big question because we are able to balance the horizontal unbalanced reciprocating force by adding this balancing mass because this horizontal component of the centrifugal force can neutralize the unbalanced reciprocating force but we have got an another problem it is this vertical centrifugal force okay it is mr r omega square sin theta it is perpendicular to the line of stroke which remain unbalanced okay we wanted to balance the system by adding the rotating mass but we are able to balance the unbalanced reciprocating force but we have got an another problem it is due to the unbalanced vertical component of centrifugal force so it is acting perpendicular to the line of stroke so now what would happen because this vertical component of this uh, centrifugal force becomes zero when theta is zero or 180 degree because sine zero is zero and sin 180 is also 0 and this value becomes maximum when it reaches the middle of the stroke okay so during the middle of the stroke we have got theta is equal to 90 degree so when theta is equal to 90 degree sin 90 degree becomes 1 so we have gotten maximum amplitude of mr r omega square okay so now we are able to balance the unbalanced reciprocating force but while we are trying to balance it what happened here is we have gotten another unbalanced force which is acting in the vertical direction okay initially without adding this balancing mass what happened is the mechanism tend to slide to and fro on its mounting okay during the initial condition so that means without balancing the entire mechanism tend to vibrate like this okay to and fro motion because of this unbalanced reciprocating force mechanism tend to slide to and fro about its mounting okay and now after making an attempt to balance this reciprocating force what happened is this horizontal unbalanced forces are neutralized on the other hand we have gotten vertical force which is remain unbalanced it causes the system to vibrate like this okay up and down motion so after balancing so what happened here is the system 
tend to jump up and down so now it is more dangerous okay so instead of sliding it is just moving in the up and down direction okay so what we can do is we have to minimize this effect okay so for that we are going to add a part of a, this reciprocating mass okay here i have exactly added mr that is exactly the reciprocating masses are considered here so instead of considering the entire mass here i am just going to add a partial value of this mass okay i am going to consider a fraction value okay either 50 percentage of the balancing mass or 40 percentage of the balancing mass okay so that is what the thing that we are going to do that is why we cannot balance the reciprocating masses completely as like that of the rotating masses okay rotating masses we can balance it completely okay on the other hand for reciprocating mass we cannot balance it completely we can only do partial balancing okay so if i add 100 percentage of the reciprocating mass if i consider the reciprocating mass as it is as a balancing mass then i can completely neutralize this horizontal unbalanced reciprocating force whereas i just got this vertical force due to that this addition of the balancing mass okay so the mechanism tend to jump up and down instead of sliding to and fro okay so in order to minimize this effect i am going to consider a partial reciprocating mass here as a balancing mass so that there will be a minimum amount of horizontal force as well as minimum amount of vertical force which remain unbalanced in the reciprocating system okay so they remain unbalanced but anyhow their effect will be minimized okay